Hi all, Brick Matt here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a Lego Batman set. And it's set number 70910 uh, for ages 7 through 14 and comes with 204 pieces. And this set is called Scarecrow Special Delivery. So, it comes with three figures. We've got Scarecrow, Batman and a security guard. We've got the Gotham Energy security hut and of course the pizza delivery bike which is that is actually the reason I bought this set because I was intrigued by that. Anywho, we'll start with our figures. Here's Scarecrow. I like his helmet, the flames on it. He's, he's also got a um, secondary face. Not a lot on his torso there on the rear. There's not a lot of difference in the faces either, it's just the mouth that's slightly different. He's got the pizza top on. There's a lot of detail on that torso. He's got the two tone arms. You don't see that very often. I do apologise if I go off screen every now and again. I'm, I'm doing this rather awkwardly. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, as you can see, I'm not on my usual desk because that's uh, full of other stuff that I've got to sort and clear. Anyway, we'll move on to Batman next. With his cape that I can't actually get to sit straight. And he's got the Batarang in his uh, hand. And he said arm. Um, the set does come with at least two more of those batarangs, but I don't know where I've put them. I think they're in a box of random bits at the minute. I've got to sort out. He's got the bat belt as well, which is a separate piece. This yellow piece is a separate piece. Um, does he have a rear face? Oh, he does. He's got like two eyes underneath the mask eyes. So if I just put his mask on backwards, you can see that the white bits at the top there actually line up and uh, the actual eye eyes don't. Which is a bit weird in my opinion, I don't know why they did that. But uh, that is actually a nice Batman figure, I do like that one. Now, with the security guard, I'm not sure what the purpose of this is. Batman has decided he doesn't want to stand up anymore. I've actually noticed this set doesn't have a female figure. That's rare for Lego as well. But here's our security guard. And for some reason he's got an identical second head there. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is for. Uh, I'm looking at the um, set picture up here on my screen and maybe it's just a spare head that got put in this set. I don't know. Has anyone else got this set that's a uh, had two security guard, um, security guard heads. He's looking a bit shocked and a bit worried. Back of the torso. I do like this um, cap. Um, that was also used in a very dark blue um, for a police officer's outfit in one of the minifigure series, but I can't remember which series that was in. But I do like his uniform. Oh, gone off camera there. Uh, He's got his little radio, his nice black tie, belt. So I'm going to move our figures and the spare head. Yeah, I'm just looking through on the screen here and I can't see that or any second head featured anywhere. It's almost like they stuck a, a spare head for the security guard in for some reason. But I'm not sure if that's actually intentional or if that just got dropped in by accident. That's why um, if anyone else has got this set, let me know if you've got one as well. Anyway, I'm going to move on to our security hut here, which I like and I will be modifying this to put it somewhere in my town, making it look a bit more like a, a little hut sort of thing instead of a you know open backed half hut which Lego does obviously for the playability of a set but it's got one two 
three stickers on here. Uh, what we got there? That's got Have a Nice Day written on it. I do like that one. <laughs> uh, Gotham Energy Facility. We've got a little adjustable CCTV camera under here. Let's bring it closer so you can see. We've got a gate. Those are printed tiles. They're two 1x4 tiles. And we've got a little sort of floodlight on the end there. We've got like the uh, little screen to operate the gate in there, all the controls, and the, probably operates the CCTV as well. The gate just simply lifts. It's probably the simplest form of a gate I've come across in a Lego set. That's all it is. It just clips onto this yellow bar, which I accidentally pulled off as well. It just, just simply like that. The simplest way you could do it but it works and it works well you know it's not moving too loosely it does stay wherever you want to put it although it does clang against the um, CCTV camera so it doesn't lift all the way and interestingly this top sign was done like this look it's on these for stands I thought that was quite interesting and a different way to do that Although, as you can tell, it's not very strong. But like I said, it does work. And I think I've got... Oh, I see why well, I've got that totally in the wrong spot. The security camera's just gone flying. Do you want to see it before I stand on it? Yeah. I don't want to stand on it and damage it. Right. So there's our a lovely little security shack. Now here's the bike. This is interesting. This is, on the front here, an actual bike, a motorbike. And in the centre it does hinge. It's a bit stiff. I'm not sure if that's actually a good thing or a bad thing for this. Um, but the back bit here does hide quite a lot. I'll open the rear door. I do apologise, we're probably going to hear a siren in the background. But in the back, that doesn't work. There we go. Comes with two printed tiles. We've got, I think that's meant to be an explosive pizza. There's something hiding in it because it's got two little eyes on there as well. I don't know if you can uh, see that. Two little eyes in the center. And of course, the pizza box, which is just a two by two printed tile. I think that was printed, I don't remember. Yeah, it is printed. I was gonna say, I don't remember putting a sticker on that. But uh, this thing on top has actually got a function. You ready? The sides pop off. And uh, you might not think it, but they are really easy to get those on. I do like the pizza sign on the top here. And I am gonna convert this so I'm going to get rid of all of this, or the mechanism at least, and try and keep that. Um, let's convert it to an ordinary pizza delivery bike. But on the inside, if you look, there's um, whatever that is meant to be. I've not watched the Batman movie yet, so I have no idea what that is meant to be in that green container. Probably something that the Scarecrow has stolen from the um, Gotham Energy Centre. Facility, I should say. But yeah, that's all it is. That just rotates and knocks off the side panels. This is a sticker. It's got a little license plate on the back. Which actually, if you read it, it spells out scare. SC4R3. And uh, there's the bike again. That's how it's hinged in the middle. It's got a little ball and socket joint there with a little hook and modified tile with a bar on it there as well for the extra support this does lift although that bit wasn't supposed to lift off now that does lift up so you can put your scarecrow on the bike i actually like it i think that's actually quite a nif nifty design it shows uh, 
Now you can actually do a lot more with these plain old bicycle, motorcycles rather, not bicycles, um, than you might think. Because I used to think they were quite plain and you couldn't do a lot with them. And that's one reason I bought this, so I could actually see how they did that. Got both sections to join together. It does roll, and of course if you don't have this, these two sections perfectly straight, it will turn. Which isn't a bad thing, you know, you could roll it in a circle like that. It does roll really well, even in a circle. That is a pretty good. Uh, any bad points to this set? Um, not that I can think of. Um, I think it's actually pretty good for its money. It's £20 over here, or £19.99 if you want to be exact. But for some reason, my local Sainsbury's supermarket always adds the extra penny on, so it'd be £20 in Sainsbury's. Um, although I got this while it was on offer in Sainsbury's, so I got this for £16. Um, but I think it's a, a good set, you know, you do get your three minifigures. This one does have a lot of um, awkward colouring to do on his arms and legs with the extra, or the two-tone arms and two-tone legs. Brown and grey and brown and yellow for the arms. Spare head for some reason, I'm not sure why. <laughs> Batman, and I can't get his cape to sit right. It always looks like he's, you know, blowing away in the breeze. Uh, perhaps he flies, I don't know. Oh, my security guard's lost his cap. All right, there we go. I'm going to put these back on as well. And before I think. Where's that going on? Oh, it is. Before I forget, that's your largest sticker, the big pizza sign on it. So, not too many stickers. And the, what stickers it have aren't really that fiddly. But, uh,. As they say, you don't have to use the stickers if you don't want to, if you're just going to dismantle the set and use it for bits. Or even like I'm going to do, I'm going to do some modifications. Uh, da -da -da -da. I might have to change this sign. So I presume you're supposed to yeah, enter the fas the facility that way, wouldn't you? I don't know, I'll just bring this up, I don't know if anyone else has had that problem, but I have had these wheels break. Um, these little plastic pegs that hold the wheel on. I have found that if you're not careful and you get a bit rough with the bikes that they can snap. I haven't, I think I've only ever had one do that. Um, but it has made me be a lot more careful in that respect with these bikes because uh, I don't want to break them. Yeah, I, I, I'm still trying to think of anything negative for this set, but I really can't think of anything. I think they've got. They covered everything, pretty much. I mean, the bike is well built. It's really strong. That joint in the middle um, is stronger than you might think because it, well, probably because it's got the two joints instead of relying on just the the actual ball joint in the middle there. You know, they put the extra joiner on. I don't know how well that would actually pop. Up. Oh, quite easily actually. So that's what they did. Just the ball joint there with a modified 1x2 plate with a bar, angled bar. I don't actually know the name for that. And then basically just built up a, you know, like a little tower on the back with a 1x1 one one with a hook on it. Claw and a socket. 
and Bob's your uncle. You've got a bike with a canopy. Which do actually exist. Can I get this? I can. Oh, what's going on there? The pizza thingy was about to fall off. Oh, I got that almost dead straight as well. There we go. Anyway, as always, let me know your views in the comments below. Do you have the set? Do you like the set? Do you like the Batman theme? This is actually the only Batman set I've bought. So far. I don't know, the rest just haven't really interested me this year. That's why it's been a bit slow for these reviews. There's not a lot that's uh, interested me, but never mind. I've got a few more to do, little sets, that is really tiny sets that I'm just gonna be like five minute videos. If I review that, I think I'll just review two. Anyway, so stay tuned for some more reviews. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye bye.